Good morning, friends. Welcome to day four of the prayer challenge of praying blessings over your husband and your marriage. So the last few days we've been going over the fruits of the spirit and each day praying over a specific fruit, right? So I don't know about you, but I learned the verse. The fruits of the spirit are love, joy, peace, patience. The fourth one is patience. Um, but actually the word that they use um, in this book is forbearance. So I had to look that up because I was like, what exactly does forbearance mean? Well, it means refraining from exercising a legal right, especially enforcing the payment of a debt. It does mean to have patience and self-control, but the actual law meaning is to refrain from forcing someone to pay a debt. So when we look at Jesus, he is the ultimate in this because we owe, we, we have the debt that he paid for us. Um, he did not owe that debt whatsoever and he paid it for us. Um, so when we have the, the fruit of the spirit of forbearance, that means that we are allowing, we're, we're allowing forgiveness to flow through us so that, um, Yes, it's patience, but it's also, it's a much deeper meaning than that. It means that we are not making people pay a debt that they should have to pay. So what can that look like in your marriage? I don't know about you, but that was kind of like earth shattering to me because it was like, whoa, that's a hard, that's much harder than the word patience. And patience is hard enough as it is. Um, so here are some things that, um, we can be thinking of today. Um, first off, thank God that Jesus paid our portion. Um, that's the first thing that's super, super important. He paid our debt. Um, and then I want you to think about what are areas in your marriage that you have placed blame, accusation, anything like that in your marriage and ask God to reveal to you um, First off, ask him for forgiveness in these areas and on behalf of you and your husband. And then ask him for healing where there's been a lack of forbearance in your marriage. So if things have surfaced, you have old wounds, things that were said, things that were done, um, ask God for his forgiveness on behalf of you, if it was on you, on behalf of your husband, um, so that healing can take place. Because ultimately, God wants us to be happy in our marriages, but whole and healed. So um, we want that healing to come. So ask him for wisdom and insight on how we can even stop these types of situations or get ahead of them in the future so that they don't become a stumbling block. So whatever it is that has been causing um, frustration a lot, um, get ahead of that. So first we want to ask for forgiveness for where we have lacked forbearance. Then we want to ask him to find us, help us find those areas um, that we're not seeing that we need to apply forbearance. And then we want to ask him, how can we prevent it from even happening? So what are some actions we can do in order to prevent this in the future? So we want to also finish up your prayer and pray that you specifically help your husband with forbearance in regard to other members of his family. Um, so that could be, uh, you know, parents, siblings, whatever. But if there are broken relationships, if there are things like that, we want to bring those to the Lord as well because he, he wants us to have healing. Um, now, it's super important to understand here. Um, forgiveness is not saying that, what they, that you're okay with what they did. And forbearance is not saying you're okay with what they did. Because I don't think Jesus would be like, oh, you know what? It was fine. I, I totally, it's fine that I, I was on the cross for your sins. It's, it was, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. It's a big deal, right? And forgiveness, applying that in situations in our marriage is, it's a big deal. And um, God sees that. So I want, I want to say that I'm not saying that um, what you've been through or what maybe you've been struggling with or whatever um, is is nothing and that you should just forgive and move on. That's, that's not it. In fact, God wants you to take some time to heal 
from whatever that was. So we want some time today to journal about that and to kind of, kind of, you know, let that simmer, let that boil, let that figure out what it is that you've, that you've been holding on to, resentment, things like that. God wants to heal you from that and then prevent those things from happening in the future. So there's a lot, today was a really, is a very deep day. And um, I, I pray that you would take some time. Maybe you have to revisit this one. Maybe you can only start with like, you know, the first few, the first few steps with today, that's totally fine. And you can come back to this one. Um, or maybe throughout the day you journal off and on about this one, but forbearance is really big. Um, and it greatly impacts your marriage, it impacts your children. It impacts your life, your, your work, everything. So when we're holding on to things, we're holding, holding, um, you know, negative emotions and things like that, and we're not healing from them. Um, then they are holding us back. So I'm not saying what you have gone through is trivial or little, um, you know, Jesus on the cross for us was not trivial or little, um, but forbearance is something he took. And so it's something that we also need to take as well. Um, and there's a lot of steps to that. So maybe you're just on step one today with that, or maybe you've been thinking about this for a very long time and you're ready. You're ready now to, to, to dive into it. Awesome. Wherever you are on this journey, I wish you the very best. Um, so today is forbearance and it is a harder one, but comment, let me know. Are you liking these? Are you doing them every day? What are you seeing things? Um, I've already, so we're on day four. I've already seen a change in some areas um, in my marriage, which is just crazy. In day four, I really, you know, I didn't expect to see it this fast. So Things are happening. Um, I hope they are in your household as well. Love you. Have a wonderful day.